When we talk about private 5G, we're not talking about the public domain like the internet. We're talking about the private domain, a contained high-speed environment for enterprise customers. So it's a local area network or intranet, not internet, intranet at places like airports, factories or ports where everything stays inside that site. The goal is real-time control, fast, reliable and free from interference. It's mainly about automation and robotics in a private space. So primarily, it's machine communications and you're not expecting your robots or machines to go, oh, let me check my Facebook on the public internet. It's not like that. It's all about communication between local base stations and local devices at a site. Now, let me show you some real implementations of private 5G in the UK and Belgium to bring this to life. At Brussels Airport, private 5G was put to the test in a world first trial. A safety drone was flown beyond visual line of sight, with the pilot sitting in Bruges, more than 100 kilometers away, controlling it in real time. That kind of connection unlocks a whole new set of possibilities. Remote inspection rounds across massive airport surfaces, faster response to aircraft incidents with drones arriving first, wildlife monitoring like birds, etc., for takeoff and landing safety, and drone detection systems tied into the SCA drone platform for real time flight approval, all powered by private 5G deployed with City Mesh. And it doesn't stop there. Thames Freeport teamed up with Verizon and Nokia to roll out six private 5G networks across three major sites, 1,700 acres in total. That includes the port of Tilbury, which handles 16 million tons of cargo each year, DP World London Gateway, with capacity for over 3 million containers, and Ford's Dagenham plant. It's one of Europe's most ambitious private 5G deployments, supporting AI-driven analytics, autonomous vehicle control, and real-time logistics orchestration. And the momentum keeps building. Hutchison Ports has now completed one of the UK's largest private 5G networks across Felixstowe and Harwich, focusing on fully autonomous vehicles and equipment. This is the result of years of evolution, from private 4G a few years ago, to today's end-to-end -to -end 5G operations that are enabling things that just weren't possible before.